Hey guys, this is the first video in my brand new series where I will be commentating on some of my old matches. Uh, some of it is going to be in self-deprecation, but I'm hoping that you guys can get kind of get a little bit more insight as to my thought process and my feelings behind some of my matches and maybe just some memories I can share or just little inside moments that uh, I feel will be entertaining to you. So if there are any matches that you want to see or anything you want to hear from me going forward in regards to these matches, uh, let me know. I'll be definitely taking suggestions or any types of um, tips if you want me to uh, do those going forward. So please uh, stay in touch, let me know how you like the videos, and uh, comment below. All right, let's get started. All right, so funny story uh, about this match in particular. I've never really had a manager in Clash before, and uh, there's this one year, it was in, uh, this match was actually in January 2016, where uh, they didn't really have a match for me on the card. I wasn't really in any type of specific storyline, so they just put uh, myself against Brutus Dillon, who is this great uh, big man wrestler. He's from Indiana. Um, love working with him, but <laughs> randomly for this match, they gave me uh, Dominique. Uh, Dittmore, who is a manager, a female manager and wrestler in Michigan, and uh, there was no build up for it, they just kind of gave it to me. Um, I'm not going to complain, but it was just kind of random how they decided to pair us up, and we never actually had a match where we paired up again after that, so it was kind of like a one and done deal, uh, I never got a second date, and uh, that's about it. a former Clash Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, looking to get back in the mix, we know Brutus Dillon this guy's one of the toughest they come here. His win-loss record in Clash Wrestling speaks for itself. Top-notch. Justin Maine, like we said, former champion, looking to get the big win here against Brutus Dillon. I think Brutus Dillon is about 350, 375. Um, really agile for his size, though. You would, you would never expect that he can move as fast as he can. He's very strong, too, obviously, but um, his speed is what sets him apart from a lot of other big guys that I've worked with. Oh, almost lost my balance. Right there. Is out here because Justin Maine is a legitimate contender. Ah, oh, shit. And Dragon Look at that body here. Everything he can to put something in his way. Oh, you're absolutely right. Justin Maine's a threat. The, the only time I'm ever going to be taller than Brutus is when I'm standing on the second rope. Keep him from that goal. This ultimately in Dragon Breed's world, he wants easy competition. He is a fighting champion. He's a tough man. I was in the ring with him. Holy shit. I remember that. That actually felt kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> felt, all, felt like I was on like one of those carnival rides that you usually see at your local fair, You're just spinning around in a circle. You have like literally no control. Brutus Dillon, obviously, this is he's one of the largest men in Clash Wrestling. So much power, and he showed it off here early against Justin Maine. And Justin Maine, he's been in the ring with Dillon before, but it just I. I, I Maybe you can speak to this better than I can, Professor. You've been in All right, second lockup. the experience, but even if you face somebody this before, as Dylan sends Maine to the outside, there's just no way to prepare for something. I'm actually surprised I went through those ropes as smoothly as I did. That type of spot is usually kind of difficult to uh, pull off. This guy's bigger than offensive lineman. He's a monster. He's strong as they come. Oh, hey, Mike Payne. I see you in the back. that people underestimate with Bruce Dillon is his agility. He is a tough customer. Justin Maine here, you see... Of course the crowd would tell me to kick him in the nuts. You guys are so classy. But I don't know how that's going to work. And Maine's got to figure out a strategy. He's got to use his smarts. He's got to use his speed. And uh, and that's where Justin Maine's attributes come in. And if I was Justin Maine, all right, third lock up. Holy crap! There we go. Work on the knee. Big chop. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Four. You're absolutely right, Professor. Justin Maine. Yeah. Push. And out he goes. See, that's a perfect example of how agile he is. 350 plus pound dude, literally going through the second rope. Better than I did. Justin Maine. Oh mm. boy, you gotta like that. Uh oh, look out, Professor! Look out! And catch. Oh my gosh! He's Show of his strength. In mid -air. And that hurt a little bit more than you would think. He may not have had a good running start, but he literally pressed his entire body weight um, into me as I was going into the pole. So yeah, that wasn't uh, super comfortable at all. That's a definite uh, turning point. That's a neutralizer, and that's the thing with Jerry. 
Burgers Dylan. It oh, so good job, Matthew Priest. You accidentally, you accidentally said the wrong name. Without any trouble at all. Punch, not gonna do anything. What am I thinking right here? And he is a fighter, as you can see here, as he's laying in uh, those right hands, but a big forearm weak. connects to the side of the head by Brutus Dillon. It's like getting hit by a truck. Holy cow. Oof. And another back elbow there. Do you see how yeah, so that bump, um... In the cover. This could be it, too. And a kick out there. As Justin Main gets I don't the think I really tried to bump as fast as I did. I think it's just like his elbow that like literally pushed me all the way down to the ground uh, much quicker. He's he's put on some more muscle mass than I was expecting on that. Why am I punching him in the stomach? That makes no sense. There you go. Go for the go for the face. Well, if you follow Justin Main on Twitter and Instagram, you know that he's been putting on size. No, nope. not gonna pull him. For, with Brutus Dillon, because he's still gonna have the speed advantage. But That's a pretty good shot. Not get thrown around like a rag doll out there against somebody like this. I don't know how, how big or how small. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I love Brutus's face right there. I make the same face whenever I see cake. It's, it's almost you got to pick your poison to a certain extent. And Justin Main is is going in here with the mindset that. He needs to be a little more powerful than he has in the past in order to compete here with Brutus Dillon. Nice snapmare there. And a Ooh. Big clubbing blow to the top. Oh, God. Here we go. This is so scary to take. This is so scary. Uh oh, look at the big man go here. And a, oh, my gosh. What a cross body blow. To his credit, he doesn't kill you. <laughs> he can control his body well, but. <laughs> <laughs> it is inherently scary seeing that big of a guy literally throwing all of his body weight at you while you're in a seated position. I don't think there's anything comparable to the fear that you can get when that happens. Uh, so you just kind of have to go for the ride. So hopefully you guys never have to find yourself in that situation too. It did not work. Jerry. Mmm. Dylan's size is just too much for Justin Maine. Those big right hands and the size of this guy's fist. Just across the jaw, Justin Maine. His fist is almost the size of his face. Oh, look at that. Uh-oh, look out here. Oh, Belvedere, this is ridiculous. Oh, I, oh, this is one of my favorite uh, parts of this match right here. Like, what's coming up. <laughs> so that's Belvedere, and that's Dominique Kish. He runs away, cowering in fear as soon as she goes for a punch on him. He never... <laughs> <laughs> he never yeah, comes back to. That goes to show uh, how scary Dominic can be that. too. Um, <laughs> Belvedere. Ooh. Oh, there we go. And there it is. Justin Main. And this is where. Yep. He's trying to take the big man off his feet. Oh, no. oh, oh, no. oh, no. I say I squat a little bit. Justin Main's got him up. Oh. oh and he couldn't deliver. That would have been new PR for me. Oh, Brutus. Dylan. I could not imagine having that a man that size on my shoulders. That's a lot of power. Oh, yeah, gosh. that wasn't too Justin, comfortable either. Look at how Dylan modified that. We'll get to that in a second. Into the cover. This has got to be it too. And Maine gets the shoulder up. But if you look at how Brutus Dylan modified that move, that was maximum impact on both the legs and the back of Justin Maine, the way he did oh, that. Unbelievable. Yeah, he went, he went down face first. All right, as, as if you don't have enough of an advantage, right Brutus, now. you're going to choke me for a second time. This might be gut check time for Justin Maine. He's about to be introduced to himself right here. As much adversity he's, he's facing in the ring with Brutus Dillon. And Justin Maine has been in there with the... Can we all uh, take a second and appreciate the size of Brutus Dillon's calves? A few here in class uh, wrestling. And, uh, there are so many guys out there that are insanely that jealous is, uh, of how big his calves are, here inside the green ring ropes. including myself. Very, so, very Brutus Dillon, kudos so to you for having gigantic calves. I appreciate them, <laughs> and so do millions right. of other guys out there. A big body slam there by Dillon. Maine is just in a world of hurt here. He has no idea where he's at. And, uh, this is only going to get worse. Brutus Dillon. Oh, to the shit. As the crowd tries to get behind him here at the Taylor Town Trade Center. I know what happens next, but Justin, please move. He, he might break the ring, Professor. For the love of God. Like oh, God. Oh. <sighs> Justin Main barely God. getting all the way. Oh, God, that would have hurt so bad. <laughs> that would have hurt so bad. Justin Main is fortunate to have moved out of the way there, Mr. Bishop. Barely. Fortunate. If he would not have that Hell yeah, I'm fortunate, because I would have died if he would have hit me. Brutus Dillon back to his feet first. You can tell the damage done to Justin Maine, but look at him. Justin Maine fighting, and he's back to a vertical base. Both men up. 
And boom. There we go. Nice little combo. Stole that combo from Sting. A nice little uh, big influence on me uh, when I was growing up and watching wrestling, so I felt like throwing that in there. Drop kick. Oh, I wish I had a better angle on that one. That was a good drop kick. Yeah, well, he's still standing. Justin Main, look at this. He's wondering what the heck does he got to do to get this guy nope, down? Not going anywhere. And boom. Oh, just toss him in the corner. He took that square to the jaw. Main up to the All right, so this next uh, movement is actually inspired Here he comes. from Ong Bak, the Thai warrior. Uh, saw that in the movie. Had to try it eventually. And I got caught up in the rope right there trying to be cool. And of course, I fuck it up. Funny story about that. I actually broke the boards underneath the ring. You could, if you were there live, you could hear how loud the impact was when they checked the ring after the match. They saw that two two by fours had broken underneath. They had completely snapped in half. That's how hard I hit. Evan Craig, the scourge of Clash Wrestling. I'm sorry for the guys after us that <laughs> to wrestle in that ring with two broken boards, but. I did. It, this it is what it is. Thing, professor, and uh, th that means the end for Justin May. Oh, that big goozle. Up Backflip. He flips out of it. Unreal. Surprised that went as smoothly as it did. Insiguri, Justin Main. Here it is. That's the tour de force. One, two, three combo. He staggered. Uh, didn't get that Pele where I wanted it to. Close enough. Kind of whiffed him. Hit the shoulder, a little bit of the head, but not fully. That's what it is. At least I have the combo. Unbelievable Brutus All right. Here we go. So this is technically the first match I ever hit the Phoenix Splash. I did a, a match previous to this where I went for it and I missed. What? Um, the Phoenix Splash is such a hard move to land because you are basically doing back flip, back flip into a front flip and you can't aim it, so you have to almost aim as soon as you do that front flip portion. Almost lose my balance, so I was like, alright, screw it, I'm not going to do it here, but collected myself and boom, got him. I can't tell you how ecstatic I was that I actually landed that. I was pra I must have practiced that move probably ten times before the show just to make sure I could hit it. Um, and yeah, I got it. And I remember going to the back and the guys were like, I we can't believe you hit it and got as far as you did because typically whenever you see like a Phoenix splash, it's usually more vertical than horizontal. Most, most guys like shoot straight up and then they go down. I jump out. So you'll typically see me whenever I do the Phoenix splash jump all the way across the ring to hit it. Um, but I was, I was, I was so happy. I think I actually knocked the air out of myself on that, but, uh, Unbelievable. I was happy. Brutus Dillon. It's one of my favorite he's matches, this match with Brutus Dillon. Um, I don't think he gets Justin enough credit in the Midwest area. The For a big man, he's so effing good. Um, so if you guys are in the Midwest or in the East Coast and you're watching this, look up Brutus Dillon. I know he just came back from injury. Uh, he just messed up his knee, but I think he's back now. Uh, reach out to him. Book him. He's a, he's a great talent. He's a great hand to have on your show. Um, really solid worker. Uh, he'll definitely really help boost up your card and the matches on there. All right, so that's it. Uh, again, if you like these videos that I'm going to be doing wh where I have my own personal commentary, uh, please comment below. Uh, subscribe and share if you can. Uh, let me know uh, what matches you'd like to see or what, uh, what things you would like for me to talk about. Uh, again, just message me on here. You can also reach out to me on social media. My Twitter is JustinMainOff. My Facebook is Justin Main. My Instagram is Justin Main Official. And my Snapchat is Justin Main Off as well. So, again, hope you guys liked it, and I'll talk to you soon.